Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Learning to Fly as recorded by Tom Petty on guitar. Now this is an incredible song that just uses four chords. I'm going to show you the chords you need to know and the strumming patterns, so when you're done with this video you'll have everything you need to go and play right along with the original recording. Before we dive in though, if you're new here and you haven't downloaded my fretboard guide yet, make sure to grab that at the first link down below and this is going to show you the five chords and scales that I use to play in any style anywhere on the neck and this is just a system that I think about for mapping out the fretboard and it's all on one page I was able to take all of that information and just compress it down to one page and I want to give it to you completely for free just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy. All right, well with that said, let's break down this tune. Let's break down how to play Learning to Fly as recorded by Tom Petty on guitar. Now this song is really just based around a two bar chord progression that repeats for the majority of the song. So let's start off with that main progression. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. So that's our progression there, played twice, and we have four chords needed to play this song. So let me go over those chords first. The first one is an F, and there's a couple different ways you can play this. You could play just your typical F chord, which is a bar chord here on the first fret. One, three, three, two, one, one. Now what I was doing was playing that chord like this, and this is a great way to actually get rid of the bar. So I'm gonna play just the middle strings, starting with the fifth string. So I'm playing three, three, two, and then one. Then I'm muting the high E string, and then you can mute the low E if you want, and just play those inner strings there. And that's a great way to play this. And then when we go to the next chord, it's just a real smooth change. Now, a little bit more advanced, but if you can, you know, you can get your thumb on that low F note. And that gives you a, a good bass note on there. So, we're going to play F and then C in the first bar. Now, C is just played from the fifth string down, typical C here, three, two, open, one, open. Then we're going to go to A minor, and I love this change here because you just move one finger. You bring that ring finger to the second fret of the third string, but you leave these other two notes from your C chord down, and then strum from the fifth string down like this. That's A minor. And then the last chord is G. And you can play any G that's comfortable for you, but I would recommend this one that I'm playing here. Just a two finger G. I've got my ring finger on the third fret of the low E, and then my pinky finger on the third fret of the high E. Now if that's too hard, you can, you can do this G or this G, whichever is comfortable for you. The reason why I like this is because our hand stays in this position, like here's C to G, it's very smooth, A minor to G. So all together, the chords we need are F to C, then A minor to G. Now, the chords are going to alternate rhythmically, meaning the, the first chord is going to go on the beat, and then we're going to push the second chord it's going to play on the off beat. So as a just starter rhythm, try this. Go one and two and... Okay, so we're going to count these eighth notes. One and two and three and four and... And we're going to play the F on the one. One and... Two, then the C on the and of two. So we'll count one and two and three and four and five. five. I'm learning to fly. It goes with the words, right? One and two and three and four and. Then we'll do the same thing with the A minor to G. One and two and three and four and F. 
C, A minor, G. Okay, now rhythmically, with the strum hand, what I want you to do is just keep it back and forth like this. Down, up is the pattern. We're just gonna go. You'll notice that the first chord, F, is on a down strum, one and two, and then the C is on the, the up strum. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And you can even accent those a little bit. That's it, that's what you play for the entire song. Now, there is one little variation that you need to know, and this is before the guitar solo and also before the little drum break that happens later in the tune. Right before that, we stay on G for an extra two bars. So if I come off of our main progression, A minor, G, we're gonna stay here for eight counts, eight quarter note counts, or 16 strums in eighth notes, it's gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and back. So I'll play that for you coming out of that main progression. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and stay here. One, two, back to the progression. Congrats on making it through this classic Tom Petty song. Be sure to take your time with those chord changes and then being able to change on the ands so you're learning to change as you do that up strum. It's gonna be a great exercise for you to just go and practice along with the recording. And just keeping that steady eighth note rhythm is so important for just your musicianship and your timing and just putting it all together. Now before you go, make sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five must know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy. Also, before you go, leave a comment and let me know your number one Tom Petty song. Just comment it down below. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon.